Okay, two more Chinese IPOs set to test the market. This time the new offerings are much bigger than the last batch. Bloomberg Stephen Engel is in Beijing with a full report on that. Steve. Hi, Paul. It will be a big test for investors' ability to digest these new shares on the market. Uh, the securities regulator, of course, lifting the moratorium on IPOs last month. Uh, the three IPOs which have listed so far on the A share markets uh, after the moratorium was lifted all doubled or nearly doubled on their first day. As you can see right here, Zhejiang Wanma Cable, the best performer on day one. Uh, their performances since day one, though, however, have been fairly lackluster pretty much flat for all three. Uh, and if we change the page, we can see how they are faring in the opening minutes of trade today. All three down again today. The fourth IPO, Sichuan Expressway, has not yet begun trading. Uh, the biggest of the new IPOs to hit the market soon will be China State Construction Engineering, China's largest housing contractor. Uh, the other will be China International Travel Service, or CITS whose government-owned parent is China's largest travel agency. It was the first Chinese travel agency to cater to overseas tourists. State construction will raise as much as 7.3 billion U.S. dollars or 50 billion yuan in a Shanghai sale. Uh, that would be the world's biggest IPO since March of last year. It is also the biggest in China since PetroChina went to the Asia market back in October 2007, a different world back then. It's selling as many as 12 billion shares or a 40% stake. The offering is nearly 28 times larger than the second biggest sale on the mainland so far this year and values state construction as, uh, as much as 51 times 2008 profit. So a bit of a high valuation for this IPO. That's nearly double the estimated P.E. of the Shindu index. That's a measure of the performance of the industrial sector on the Shanghai Composite Index, which is up about 80 percent so far year to date. Uh, both of these indices are up about 80 percent year to date. Uh, yesterday, this index reached an 80, excuse me, a 13-month high. The market also up slightly in the opening minutes today. State construction plans to use the proceeds to expand in residential construction. That's a sector that's been on fire pretty much uh, this year with a surge in bank lending and the government's push for low-end housing in that $585 billion stimulus package. Profit, though, at this company fell 44 percent last year because of the slumping property market last year and those higher raw material costs that we saw in the beginning part of the year. Company advisors, though, predict a further recovery in the property market this year. New home prices in China's largest cities rising more than 6 percent in June from a year ago. Nationwide property sales jumped 53 percent last month by value. Also, as you can see, investment in real estate up in June by about 10 percent. Guotai Junan Security says the market won't have any problem holding up the state construction sale adding that there's so much money around after the relatively loose monetary policy. Lots of liquidity here, Paul. As for CITS, quickly, it aims to sell about 220 million shares to build a travel network and duty-free shops in China. And also just a little note here, China's securities regulator today announcing uh, that it will begin accepting applications for IPOs on the nation's new startup board on July 26th. That is a Sunday. Paul, get in line on this weekend. Back over to you. <laughs> Well, I think I'll uh, play with the kids instead and uh, take my opportunity another day. Thank you very much indeed for that, Steve. Plenty of money sloshing around in China at the moment, as Steve knows. Now, let's get a check on the biggest companies by market value in uh, the mainland China. Petro China, ICBC, uh, CCB Bank of China, Sinopec. They're the charts. Uh, in fact, all except Sinopec are down. Sinopec's up a half of 1%. Worst hit are the banks, ICBC and CCB, both down. Best part of 1% so far today. Now,